Kate Anderson Brower covered the Obama White House for four years at Bloomberg News. As a journalist, she knew how to ask the right questions and turn those questions into New York Times bestsellers. Author of The Residents and First Women, Kate shows us a private look into a very public home. So in these two books, you offer us a very private look into the White House, which begs the question, how many times did you have to jump the White House fence to get inside, and how did you escape Secret Service? <laughs> That's a very good question. I never had to do that, fortunately, but during a lunch with Michelle Obama and, a, and about a dozen other um, all-women reporters who covered the First Lady at the time, this butler came in and out and was serving us, and so that's how I came up with the idea to kind of look at the private side of the White House and what goes on that we don't get to see as reporters. And there's a lot that we don't get to see. I think people watching really paid off in that situation. First Women is your latest book and it's developing into a TV series involving Reese Witherspoon and Robin Wright. Did you ever imagine that would happen when you first put pen to paper? No. Um, I mean, it's a cliche, but it's a, like a dream come true for an author because you spend so much time um, and energy on something and to think that other people are interested in it and want to see it in a different medium. I mean, you can do a lot in TV. And what's the status on the residence? So Kevin Spacey's production company bought the rights to it and they have this great screenwriter, um, Dustin Lance Black, who wrote Milk and won an Oscar. He's really very talented and so he's writing it. When you were writing these books and researching, did you forget that you were writing books about the White House and not a script for Downton Abbey. I had a lot of people tell me, Yo, you'll never get people to talk to you. And I remember when I went to uh, the head housekeeper's house in Delaware, on the beach in Delaware, and I drove out there and I thought, well, you know, she's probably not going to say much. And she just really opened up for hours. And then I walked out of that interview and just thought, this is it. I was pregnant too. That's one instance where being pregnant kind of does help you because it makes you seem like non-threatening. Exactly. They knew that you wouldn't get far if you like had to chase after them. <laughs> exactly. You know, we're coming up to the inauguration. Is there anything that we can anticipate um, between the two families during the transition um, based on past transitions? Usually the departing First Lady gives the incoming First Lady a tour, which has already happened. I think because this election was so divisive and difficult. They, they just wanted to get it out of the way. Yeah. I actually think so. I think it was really mature of both sides to do that so quickly. I think it was like a record setting time. I mean, they did it within 48 hours. Normally mm -hmm. it's a few days or a week later. And the staffs do like get together and share information, binders full of information, down to such nitty gritty details like can the Trumps bling out the second floor? And they can. That part will be interesting to see what they do in like their bedrooms, you know? We probably won't see that for four to That's eight years. It's not family friendly talk here. Both The Residents and First Women are available on Amazon. They stuff perfectly into stockings and fit right under the tree. We know we tried it. Follow Kate on Twitter at Kate Brower and also katebrower.com for more information and what she's up to.